that's right. <laughs> Paul Coit's I'll here. I'll get you a blanket. Yes, they say, oh, an blanket. electric blanket. Electric, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll sort that out. We've got a few plugs yeah, down, down here. here. All right, let's talk about Wales. Yeah, yeah Wales. Wales smashed it yesterday. They did, they did really well. Um, they beat Finland 4-1 yesterday. It was expected because if we're not aware and it, it's all qualifying for the Euros, Two games, two playoff games for the Euros, one against Finland, which they're through, yeah. and now they've got to get past Poland, who beat Estonia yesterday. Uh -huh. So, all, cut a long story short, make it much less complicated, all they've got to do now is play against Poland in Cardiff on Tuesday. In and Cardiff if they on win. Tuesday, uh, so, I mean, the fact that it's in Cardiff yeah, makes so a huge difference massive. because they've got a very good record at home, although there is a slight caveat to that fact that most of the teams that they've played against have not been at a very high standard. Is Poland considered high standard? I think so. I think, you know, Poland are, are not what they were because they've actually managed to qualify sort of through the back door and through the fact they've done well in the Nations League. But you've got a player like Robert Lewandowski, who's one of the greatest strikers of all time that's playing for them. They're, they're going to be a different level for, to Finland. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be tough. And I think... I'd like to say yes, but maybe with home advantage, but it's going to be tricky. But Tuesday night, it's going to be a huge game for Wales. Yeah, yes. it will be, won't it? Did exactly. you read between the lines what I was saying? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> we got, we got yeah. the message there, Paul. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying very, to be... It wasn't I think very it's subtle. Very <laughs> subtle. <laughs> subtle. So Wales are going to get smashed by Poland <laughs> on Tuesday. No, I absolutely don't think that. It's going to be a very tough game. But anyway, we look forward to that on Tuesday. It's going to uh, be a hell of a game. Right, can we talk about this England kit? Yeah, we better had, hadn't we? Right, so Nike have produced this brand new England shirt, which when it came out, I thought it's a really lovely shirt. Yeah, it looks I nice. really like it. It does. It looks really smart. It's very classic. It's it's very nice. Um, but the problem is, is that now that's that's on the back of the collar. That's on the back of the collar. Now that is their take on the St George's flag. Yeah. Now I also should make a point that. Most England shirts in the past haven't had the St George's flag because the oh, three lions is the emblem. Yeah. Yeah. And that's usually the badge. And most international teams would have an emblem from their football association, which would usually be on there. But the, every now and again, you'll get the, um, the St George's flag. It has appeared on, many, on, on a few England shirts in the past. If that wasn't on there, we wouldn't be talking about it. We no. wouldn't be saying there's a lack of a uh, St George's flag, that it wouldn't be a problem. It's the fact they pointed it out, though, didn't they? They sort of announced yeah. it. We've they done did. a playful update to the to the George Cross. You did have... I, I did have read some old nonsense sometimes. This is... There we are. This is, this is what Nike have said. The England 2024 home kit disrupts history. Disrupts. Oh. With a modern take on a classic, the trim on the cuffs takes its cues from the training gear worn by England's 1966 heroes. Back in 1966, there was no real design. To, it was a white shirt or it was a red shirt and the tracksuit top just had stripes around it. Yeah. Yeah. So whether that's true or not, uh, the gradient of blues and reds topped with purple, the same colours also feature, and this is where we get to it, the interpretation of the flag of St George on the back. You don't interpret a flag. No, you I do agree. You? I think it's and a huge mistake. And I don't mistake. think they understand the sort of people who buy these shirts and follow England and, mm. you know, a football man. They're very patriotic mm. and they like things to be the traditional way. I agree. I don't think it's... There's a lot of accusations, oh, it's woke, it's this, it's that. I honestly don't think it's that. I think it's them trying to be clever with an interpretation, which they've said, of the flag, but I think it's ill-advised and I think the FA should have looked at it and gone... Hang on, what is this? Is this a good idea? Because do they really think the fans are going to go, we love the interpretation of the flag? Would yeah. anyone really have cared if it wasn't? Keir Starmer's mentioned it in an yeah. interview that he's given, which is why. Well, it's, it's because he was asked. That's well, the thing. well he You're was right. asked. You're right. It's because um, he was asked. I wouldn't have given it a second th I mean, I don't like it now that it's been pointed out, but yeah. I wouldn't have given it a second thought. No, but it's Nike who pointed it out to us. Oh, yeah. yeah. They really didn't need to, frankly, did Their they? special interpretation. And, and, and I agree. And, and, and also the other thing, the most important thing of all this, for as far as young fans are concerned, is the price of well, the shirts. Well, that's, oh. that's the scandal to it's me. It's outrageous. How much are the shirts? One, for, if you're, for an adult shirt, we're looking at 125 quid. For a kid's shirt, you'd expect it would be a lot cheaper... It's £120. Oh, yeah, £120. Pounds pounds. Off, five pounds off for a small size. So it's a child shirt. So, you know... Is that for a home and an away shirt? No, that's one... Well, what do you mean? That's, that's for one shirt. Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, the away would be kits. the same price. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So if you wanted two shirts, you'd have to, you'd have to pay twice that. And also, yeah. and you've got to think there's a lot of kids who'd think, well, you know, I want the shorts, I want the socks. Yeah. Mum, Dad, can I go yeah. and watch the game? I'd love to wear the England shirt. Yeah, it's going to be 120 quid. It's outrageous. It is outrageous. And that you get a lot of knockoffs that come from all around well, the world. Well, this will only encourage that. And this is what's going to happen. People are going to be thinking, well, I'm not paying the proper price for that, where I could get a knockoff for like 30 quid. And, it's, and does it really... and it's probably got the proper flag on the back. <laughs> it's probably got the flag on the Yeah, but the thing is, it's like, is it really... How much does it cost to produce a shirt like that? Really? Probably about... Eight pounds, probably so. something yeah. like that. And and again, we, with we were talking about the commission for fans and what the government are doing. And then, oh, it's almost like two fingers up to fans to be able to go. Oh yeah, by the way, fans are going to have to pay 120 quid for a football shirt. It's outrageous. Yeah, it's